Welcome to our short video, RLNC 101, to introduce you to random linear network coding. To better understand RLNC, first we'll look at the traditional approach to data transport. Traditional techniques break data up into pieces before sending them. In this example, we've divided our data into five pieces. For the general case, we'll have k pieces of data. If all of these k pieces reach your chosen destination, you can recompile and view your original data. But what happens when a piece is lost, or incomplete, or corrupted in transit? Well, you can't recompile and view the original data, at least not until you find a copy of the missing piece from somewhere. As a result of having to deal with these lost pieces, which is more likely than ever in our wireless digital world, we might need retransmissions, which could be expensive for satellites or deadly for connected cars. We could experience higher latency, making it much tougher to coordinate with your friends in multiplayer games. You might miss that crucial goal as you're streaming live sports events and video gets choppy. IT equipment might not last as long or be more expensive to use as it's not being used efficiently. And this leads to frustration for you and your customers, who would ultimately experience a lower quality of service. So how does RLNC differ? Well, RLNC also transports data divided into pieces. Then, there's a coding step involved. This is where the original K pieces are mixed together randomly using linear algebra to create new representations of the data. Using this method, an almost infinite number of pieces can be created, and each piece or mixture can be useful to reconstitute the data. So any K independent pieces could be used at the destination to decode for the data. If a piece is lost along the way, any other RLNC encoded piece can complete the set since each independent piece contains new algebra describing the data, which can then be used to solve for and reconstruct the data. It's often a good idea to add a few extra coded pieces to a transmission in anticipation of such losses, which can result in improved speed, improved efficiency, improved reliability, better quality of service, improved output, and reduced latency. That's also the basic idea behind forward erasure correction, which we're really good at. Now that you know the basics, follow our channels to learn more about how RLNC enables new use cases and improvements in networks, and what's possible with RLNC, which you just can't do with other codes. Thanks for watching.